What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Nearly broke my pad there, but look, we're still good. We're still good. Let me know what you guys think of these packs, lads. We are going to be starting with Wesley Schneider. It's the second one, actually, in this uh, training guide um, that we're going to have. Now, I've already done uh, Cruyff, and we are going to be taking a look at David's ear later on as well. We'll probably have a video up on him. But for Schneider, Schneider, we do have a fairly beastly build for him. And we've got another build in that will be about kind of passing and dribbling. Um, so we've got two versions of him. So just looking at Schneider here, obviously we know what we're going to be getting with him. Brilliant passer, brilliant dribbler. Doesn't have great acceleration or speed, but we're not going to focus too much on that for one of the builds in here. So as I said in my video before with Cruyff, you are going to have to pick and choose what type of play style will suit you with, with Schneider, right? I think at a lot of time with these players, you know, people focus too much on getting their overall maxed out and they kind of neglect some stats that they don't, that they shouldn't and they, you know, raise some stats that they shouldn't as well. So just make sure that you do train up these players if you are spinning for them, you know, don't don't waste um, coins spinning for players and then train them up. Learn from my mistakes. I made mistakes training a lot of these legends at the start and obviously with the gameplay that has changed over the last couple of months with V2.4, there is a huge um shift in how you should be training these players so i have a load of videos done on the channel if you want to check those out but moving on to it short and sweet we do have two versions of him so this first version of schneider is going to all be is going to be about the ideal attacking midfielder whole player near, nearly like a classic number 10 right even though he's down as a creative playmaker we've got the player skills that we've already talked about in the review double touch soul control long range drive knuckle shot weighted pass and we've also got low lofted pass so we know what we're going to be doing here with Schneider. We're going to be getting on the ball as best as we possibly can. Excellent passer, excellent dribbling, and then we're not going to focus too much on the pa on the pace, right? So look at these stats here. We've pumped nine into shooting. That brings our curl up to 99 and our free kicks up to 90. We also put 11 into passing. That gives us 90 low pass and 98 lofted pass. And then the dribbling is going to be 10, which gives us 90 ball control, 86 dribbling and 95 tight possession. And then we round it off with dexterity and lower body just to give us a tiny little bit of a boost when we get the ball that we're able to kind of explode away just on a fraction or two um, to make the difference compared to some slower based AMFs. He's still a very good player. I think with the 89 kicking power, that's kind of why we want to train up the lower body strength a little bit more than dexterity. And we also have the balance up too as well. So we don't need to focus too much on physical contact, which you won't have with this card. So I would say that people that use this card, I would say you will need to be shooting and passing a lot. You're not going to be running and gunning. You're not going to be touching and going. Yes, you can still do that. But this guy is going to be able to just pick passes from everywhere. Now, I think there's a couple of issues with this card. Namely, and mostly, I do think that the low pass and lofted pass and the shooting are probably a bit too high here for how the gameplay is at the moment, right? I genuinely think that you could even improve this card a little bit depending on your skill level, right? This card is pretty much going to pass for you. But with the way V2.4 gameplay is at the moment, you still are going to misplace passes. You're going to pass into passing lanes that you shouldn't. It's just the way the AI is at the moment, man. Hopefully they fix it for V2.5. When it works, when the dribbling works, it's beautiful, fast flowing, really, really nice to attack. Obviously, a lot of defensive issues still remain in the game, but you will have a lot of fun with this version of Schneider. Now, again, you know, we're always looking to tweak and even looking here. I would probably take, you know, two out of the shooting there to bring down the curl to 97 and the finishing to 80. And it wouldn't bother me too much because if you are going to be popping in shots with him, 80 is enough with the 97 curl for those finessed curl shots. And then I would probably boost up his dexterity to try and get that to like 79.80 for the offensive awareness, but mostly for the balance, right? We could also pop one more into, um, you know, kicking power with the lower body strength if we wanted to do that as well. But you are going to be focusing all about low passing, lofted pass, and then the finishing with the curl, as well as having, you know, stick to the foot dribbling stats as well. Now, if you're looking for more of a well-rounded attacking midfielder and you don't shoot a lot of shots, I think this is the option to go here, right? I think it's overkill to have um, any stat over 95, unless it's acceleration with the way that the game is, or unless it's one of the defensive stats. That's just me. That's just my personal preference. But I would try to get the tight possession up as high as possible. And I think this is a nice balance between the ball control, the dribbling, and the low pass. And then you also have the 82 acceleration with more speed and more stamina. I think this is just an all-round attack and midfielder option. So... That is the two options. I would say that this player will suit kind of like, um, you know, fast-paced, quick counter players. 
uh, you've got 89 low pass, you pair that with a lot of other skills that this card has, uh, because he doesn't have one touch pass, you know, I don't think that it's going to be a mass concern, but it could be a slight concern if you are used to playing with one touch pass on your AMS. A lot of people will say that that's kind of a deal breaker for them in their style. But if you play a lot of possession, this card is phenomenal because you've got the passing and dribbling stats very balanced. And you've also got the free kick and the curl very balanced. But then you've also got the balance here, acceleration and kicking power extremely good. So, yeah, that is two versions of Wesley. And uh, we'll be back with Davids next. We've already done Cruyff. And we'll be back with Davids. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the channel for other videos. And I'll be back in a while. Peace.